Hey everyone, Kelly Dean Allen here once again. Today, gonna hit you up with a little more classic Aerosmith, this time with the non-studio album cut Chip Away the Stone from 1978. A track recorded and released as a single to go along with the release of the band's live bootleg album from the same year. That said, Chip Away the Stone is a track not actually written by the band, but by a fella named Richie Supa, a friend and at times songwriting collaborator with Aerosmith throughout much of their long career. He also wrote and or co-wrote Lightning Strikes Amazing and Pink as well, if I'm not mistaken. That fact notwithstanding, this is definitely some classic sounding early Aerosmith, and in my opinion, one of the best tracks the band released during their 70s heyday. Let's close in and learn how to play it, shall we? All right then, Chip Away the Stone and Aerosmith from 1978. We are in standard tuning for this tutorial. The opening of this one goes a little something like this. <laughs> the opening riff in the first verse. So we're starting with a C power chord, three finger C power chord here at the eighth fret position. We're gonna hit this twice on the down stroke. Then you're gonna drop down here with your ring finger, make a double stop here on the tens of the D and the G, and then right back to the, uh, the power chord again and hit it twice. Kind of like that, right? Now you can just roll your pinky down to cover those tens. Kind of like that. I like to get my whole ring finger down there and cover that. Then you're going to go off to A, do the same thing, off to G and do it twice. It's all very loose, lots of little mutes in there and whatnot. Right now that's Brad's part and he's going to repeat that twice. The second time Joe is going to join and play this. Same chords, C major, little triad here, 10, 9, 8 of the D, G, and B. I'm gonna hit that twice, drop onto that little double stop there, and then back again, right? Move it off to A, and then off to G. Right, and that leads into the first verse. Now the first verse, we're gonna slide into G from this F sharp. And play the same riff, right? Hit it twice, drop down, grab that double stop on the fives, right back to the power chord with a double hit. But now you're gonna grab a little double stop here that you're holding with a bar on the third fret on the top two strings. Right, and you're gonna repeat that twice. Then you're gonna move it into C, sliding in from B, three times. Right? Now, these little double stops that they're catching, they're not doing it every time. It's very random when they're throwing those little double stops in on the top two strings. When we move into C, we're gonna do it the second time, but not the first and third time, right? Right, and then back to G. Right, repeat it, and then we're gonna go into E. Back, back to C for one repeat, and then right into the second half of the verse, right? So that's the opening verse. E, one bar, C, repeat. into the chorus when we go back into E the second time. The first time we're going to a bar chord here at the seventh fret position. The second time we're going to go off to an E major at the neck position. Right, catch the bottom two or three strings, bum, 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 and then catch the top two or three strings on the upstroke. And then into C for one repeat of that, and then we drop into the chorus. Now the chorus is just an eight bar blues progression. G for four bars, down to D for two bars, and back to G for two bars, right? This kind of blue 
blues progression, right? We have a G5 chord here, three of the low E, five of the A, bouncing off the seven, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, one, and repeat. Chip away at the stone. again, right? And uh, that leads into another chorus, which is that blues progression for eight bars, right? And then we drop into the solo. Now, the final two bars of this G, right at the end of the second chorus, or the second repeat of the chorus, the solo has already started with this. That little lick right there over the final two bars of that G blues progression, right? Double stop on the threes. Then you're gonna drop onto a double stop on the fives of the B and the high E, a little double bend release. Kinda of like that. Back off to the threes, right? Into that lick there. So five three of the G, five three of the D, five four three of the A. Off to one. One, back to three, slide it into five, right? Into the main solo. And that is the solo there. So now we're in this little D minor pentatonic box here. Mostly double stops going on here on the tens of the G and the B, the twelves of the G and the B, the tens of the B and the high E. It's all like double stop work, right? Just going to run through this solo nice and slow because it does not leave this box, right? So I'm going to run through it slow a couple of times without picking it apart note by note and fret by fret, right? Right, that's about the first two thirds of the solo. Right, one more time. Right. Finishing on a double stop on the twelves. And then the final third of the solo is this. So double stops on the twelves, double bend releases, kind of like that, and repeat that three times. Let it hang, finish the solo with this. Grabbing that 14 of the G, full step bend, then the 15 of the high E. Right, re-bend that 14. Grab the 15 of the B this time. Release that bend off to 12. Right, and that is the solo. So from the beginning, back here. Is the solo we drop right back into another chorus right. and repeat again and then we drop back into the main riff again the opening riff or two repeats And then 
until the end of the track, we're just gonna hammer away on those chords. Right, so C to A to G. Maybe one of the guitars is kind of playing a blues progression, right? Kind of like that. Right, finally end in G, let it ring. End of track. That, my friends, is how you play Chip Away the Stone and Aerosmith. Certainly hope you enjoyed that, found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button right down there. Maybe drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already, as that would be very kind and helpful to my channel. Hope you're well out there, and we'll see you next time, yeah? Cheers.